Hey guys, welcome out to the shop today. So I've had this nail gun right here for quite some time and I just happened to stumble upon it again and I haven't used it in a long time because it is constantly leaking air. This is a Porter Cable nail gun. It's for framing nailing, uh, like building houses, sheds, something like that where you're just connecting a bunch of two by fours. Um, as you can see, I still have nails in there from the last time I was trying to use it. So the story behind it is I was using it and uh, went to go get more nails, came back, put the nails in, uh, plugged up my air line, and then all of a sudden it was constantly leaking air. Um, I didn't know exactly what was going on with it. I thought that maybe something got dirty in there, tried to shoot a nail, and it didn't even penetrate the wood. It just barely hit it and then really had a little bit of a bounce back on on my arm like a recoil so i'll show you guys real quick uh what it's doing it's just a regular airline hookup and you can see that whenever i got this so this back portion right here is for whenever you end up shooting that's where all the residual air goes out when i have just a major leak back here so uh we're going to go ahead and dive in this and get this repaired um these are probably between one two hundred dollars somewhere around there probably 150 ish and uh, instead of just trashing it like i was thinking about doing because i didn't want to I kept stepping over it and it was getting in my way uh, i was just going to toss it out but uh, decided to go ahead and actually repair it so this is model fr 350a um, it's a really good gun i mean it's in good condition there's no rust on it or anything like that and I haven't had to worry about repairing it because I do have another framing nailer so let's go ahead and look at this gun and get it repaired all right so sorry for having such a messy workbench but it is a workbench and it's kind of where I just go to fix things and then move on uh, I'm trying to clean up a little bit more but so anyway we got um, this is gonna be your main cylinder area and it's not really a piston, but it's like a, a chamber that I believe is in here. And then we have a seal, and then this is another seal right here. So we're gonna go ahead and start by taking off just this back end and making sure that nothing's wrong with the oil rings that are on the back side of here. So this is just like pretty much a cap and you have where the air shoots out and then we have an o-ring right here and this one looks really good it's still it's not hard or anything like that so that still feels really good we're gonna go ahead and reattach that real quick I don't think that's where our problem is why well, I, I highly doubt that's where our problem is just because uh, air is actually coming through the exhaust and not around the the little bolt right here so when you if you do ever take this off and you got to reinstall it get it tight enough just that you can still spin it you don't want to over tighten it and ruin that over and that's already in there uh, so we're going to go ahead and take this back side portion off so that we can actually get into the gun and there's four bolts i'm using a five millimeter wrench Okay, so this is the inside right here. You also have a seal that's right here and this is where it comes out of the exhaust. So you can pull this section out and we'll check this seal real quick. To make sure nothing's broken on there. And it doesn't look it. You just pop it out. It's got that spring in there. So this looks good. Everything's still flexible. So we'll go ahead and put that in. I don't think that's going to be our problem. Make sure that it still does its thing of squishing in and out. We'll go ahead and put that back in there. And 
and you want to just make sure that you get it seated back down and then it goes like it's supposed to with that spring and we have this chamber right here oh and I see where our problem is so this is your other seal right here that mounts up to the back side and you see that it is cracked right here and these you just take a small flathead or knife and you work your way around and there you go that's off and we got this other piece that's in there I gotta try to get that other there's a random chunk that's down in there all right so now we got that area cleaned up and this is this actually does feel kind of hard and brutal you can see that it's just breaking right apart all right so for you guys that are actually working on this fr 350a this is um, a part that i ordered for this and it is part number 910767 it is a collar for this chamber and this one you can see is very flexible still i mean this one's brand new this one's flexible, but it's, it's, I can tell a difference. It, this was very, very stiff, and you can see that it just cracked right apart. So, we're going to go ahead and put this one on. And it's got a little bit of wiggle room. I hope that's all right. Maybe it'll start, maybe it'll seal up after a little bit of use. And now we got the, uh, reinstallation so that's just a reverse of everything that we've already done pretty much just take your the butt end of this and seat it in there and when you go to reinstall all these bolts just go ahead and get them started but don't tighten them down That's a good thing to get used to doing on all items. If you got multiple bolts on something, just to go ahead and get your bolts all started, then go back and tighten the items down. And you can see I'm doing one across and that helps square everything up. And then these last two that I'm putting in, it didn't matter which one I did first, but I just chose to do this one and we got this bottom one on this side I'm going to tighten that one a little bit and then come up here to this other top one and tighten it and just work my way around in a kind of a pattern just so that uh, everything gets tightened up nice and even especially with that new seal on there we don't want to damage it by going in crooked somehow and this seal was about twenty dollars and I actually looked on eBay to see what the price of a Porter cable used gun would go for and they go between 90 and 100 dollars it looks like so even if i didn't want to keep it right now i could resell it and make money back off of this but i'm gonna probably end up keeping this one so, now because we don't want to destroy the brand new seal we are going to put some tool oil in here uh refurbished this little oil can that's what i keep in here some tool oil so i'm gonna go ahead and squeeze a little bit of oil in there all right so we got the oil that's in there now let that 
drip down a little bit and let's plug it up and see what's going to happen. Let's verify if this seal is going to actually fix it. And there we go, guys. So we don't have any more leak. I'm gonna tighten this up just a little bit more. And there we go. So now this is done. This is completely, I don't have anything that I can nail. It's ridiculous. Let me try to find something. All right, so we got this two by six that we can practice on real quick. There we go, guys. So it's back in action. We got the nail. It's a very powerful gun. I love this thing. I really enjoyed using it whenever I had it, and then it broke on me. All right, guys, thank you for joining me on this quick and easy nail gun repair. I hope that if you guys find them, you guys can get them replaced, or not replaced, repaired. Uh, it's not very expensive. Seals and a rebuild kit are less than $50 if you wanted to do a whole rebuild kit. And again, this is the Porter Cable FR350A. It's a great gun, and this was a very simple repair. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys are new, hit that subscribe button. And as always, hit that thumbs up. And we'll see you guys on the next video.